so I whenever I go to Goodwill I don't expect to find anything which is why I don't record and also sometimes depending on what time I get there um, like there'll be people there and I don't like filming in front of people so I did find things at Goodwill this morning um, but I stopped here at another little mini it's like a mini thrift boutique place uh it's right next to a church i am gatekeeping <laughs> you know now that i realize i might be gatekeeping this um goodwill so none of you can find it <laughs> but um yeah i did find some stuff um where do i which one do i start with maybe the little ones that i have so i spent 12 dollars because i round up i rounded i rounded up um my total so i think it was like 11 something why is everybody showing up to the thrift store okay actually x name that because a bunch of people are pulling up and i need to like block people from i mean they're not gonna go to the books i'm the only one that goes to the books but i gotta stay in my place so i'm gonna go in film some stuff if i find anything i'll show you guys um and then come back and show you my haul of goodwill and if i find anything here but I need to go wrestle with people before they take the books I want. One debt to society later. No freaking way. I got that lucky. So first of all, the people that were coming in, they were actually going to the church. Um, this thrift store is literally right next to a church. Um, never heard of this bookstore. I have gone to this thrift store before. And I had found some good books as well. Um, but this one was freaking crazy. Um, I can justify how much I spent just now um, because they were on my TBR. Now, the Goodwill, not so much. Some of them weren't really on my TBR. Some of them I had heard about and I was going to give a try. Um, but this one, this one's crazy. Okay, so before we go into where we were just at or where I was just at, um, I'm going to do the haul and then I'll show you the clip of what the heck happened in there and um then i'll show you the haul from the other one but first goodwill i'm definitely gatekeeping this this thrift store here i'm gatekeeping i don't care you can hate me all you want i don't care anyway so from goodwill um my goodwill receipt i paid 12 dollars in total because i rounded up um originally it was 11 14 but again i rounded up it's like for the veterans or something only a couple cents so yeah so the first book um so the first book i have which i've been wanting to have a sherlock holmes book for a while um i can never find them for whatever reason and i picked up this one it's a sherlock holmes story there's eight of them in this one i think this is like the first one and then there's like a second book um and the only reason I know that is because it has other books um, here. I don't know if these are the Puffin Classics other books. I don't know. But yeah, I got this one. It's a it's not as intimidating as a very thick Sherlock Holmes book. So I got this one. This was $1.99. Most of these books are $1.99 except a hardcover that I have. So yeah, $1.99 for this one. Then I got a manga because every time I see a manga, I'm for now on picking it up. Um, this one is Parasite. I have not watched the anime. I have heard about it. So I picked up the manga. It's a pretty thick first volume. So excited for this one. It was $1.99. Then I don't know. I haven't seen this on BookTok or anything or BookTube. And it is And I Darken. And what really got me was no one expects a princess to be brutal. I did read the synopsis of it, but that kind of hooked me on it. So picked it up again, $1.99, not too shabby. Then the two that I had heard and I wanted to pick up, I know this one is not a really a romance. It's probably like a woman's fiction. Um, yeah, it says fiction on it. But I heard a lot about it, or I heard that people really enjoy this i haven't heard a lot about it like what it's about but i have heard that people really enjoyed it and it is the the light we lost and it is also 199 again i think this is like women's fiction 
it sounds like there's like some romance but i don't know and then the last goodwill haul is the hardcover book that i was telling you this one is not 199 this is 299 um but still not too bad it is the last thing he told me which is like maybe a thriller i think kind of doesn't look like a thriller i think this would be cool for like a summer read summer or spring read everybody's walking their dogs right now um so anyway so yeah this is like i guess a thriller and i've seen this around i've seen some people who enjoyed it and i thought i'd pick it up it looks relatively like short so i'm adding this to my list of thrillers that i have accumulated now on to this big haul it's le legit a haul so i think i'm going to show you the clip right now of me going inside the thrift store I was kind of looking around they do have like some sales and things going on and they were telling me and i was kind of like mm, you don't have it in the books i know for sure but thank you anyways so i like darted straight to the book section because that's all i really care about don't want to look at anything else um their paperbacks are like 250 and hardcovers are like three or four dollars i can't remember off the top of my head um oh my god the top shelf had like all bestsellers and then there were so many good books on the shelf. There was like A Little Life. What else was there? A Little Life. I don't know if I showed you, but The, the Animal Farm was on there. Oh, what other good books? Um, the Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo was up there. Like, I mean, legit, all of Book Talk books were on that shelf. And I was like, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. But I didn't show you that part because I'm saving that for the haul. Anyways here comes the haul uh, I guess they were used bags they did give me a pink bag last time but I guess they used bags which is totally fine so I have like a big ass Ann Taylor bag here to show you guys what the frick I got this is crazy this is this is freaking crazy okay I don't I'm starting from the first book okay these these are brand new books these are in like brand new condition that I got Mind you, these are all... Wait, do I have the receipt? She just gave me the receipt, right? Okay, so I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I have seven books that I got for twenty one eleven. okay? So, paperbacks are two fifty. One of these books, I think it's because it was new, it's not two fifty. dollars it is a paperback. It was $4, okay? And then the hardback, the one hardback that I got was $3, Okay. Two fifty and three dollars. I, I I don't. I'm speechless. Anyways, <laughs> so the first book I have, The Summer Broken Rules. This is a book that came out last year. I think last last year, last summer, that everybody loved. Um, Two fifty is really all I can say about these. Two fifty for this brand new book. I think the only like the only thing that's wrong is it has like a little um I don't know what it's called it's like bent a little bit in the corner here only thing that's wrong with it brand new book 250 crazy the next book also book talk favorite this was from Target apparently 250 every summer after which was a like I know this was compared to Love and Other Words, and then I think people read Love and Other Words and this in like the same span of like a month or two, and um, they didn't really like it. So I haven't read Love and Other Words in like half a year. So also I wasn't I don't know I didn't absolutely love love in other words like everybody else so maybe I can give this one a chance maybe it'll be better than love in other words I have no clue next one this was the, the, this was four dollars I just I just want you to know that this was four dollars again not like pristine but not also horrible condition okay okay four dollars it starts with us by Colleen Hoover. I have it ends with us. I haven't read it. Um, I've been eyeing this because I freaking I'm obsessed with Facebook Market, and that's where I get my other books, which I will show you those um, when we get home because those are also new. 
like I recently just got those so I will show you guys those ones um Uh, excuse me what there's a note in here um this one okay this um is showing standalones by colin hoover and then it says dear reader this book is a sequel to it ends with us and begins right where the first book concluded uh for the best reading experience it starts with us should be read second in the two book series after releasing It Ends With Us, I never imagined... Oh, this was by Colleen Who? What? What is this? This is like a note. What? I'm confused. Uh, I don't know, but I'm reading that later. I don't have time. I have to get home. Um. Anyway, so yeah, super excited. Um. I know Colleen Hoover It has mixed feelings. People have mixed feelings about it. Um... I, I don't know. I'm just getting into her. I read Heartbones last year and absolutely loved it. So I have, I had Verity. I didn't read it. Um, I had the physical book. I have it on ebook. So I guess I can read it, whatever. But I really heard more people didn't like it than people did that did. So I don't know if I really want to read it. Um, yeah, and I have four, four of her other books. So it's an author that I'm trying out. I don't know if I love all her stuff, but you know, gotta give things a, a chance. Next one, something I've had on my TBR and I was like, well, I, I'm getting that. So um, that is a historical romance and it is a lady's formula for love. Um, something for the fact, I don't remember what this is about. Yeah, historical romance I had on my TBR for like, a long time and I uh, had to pick it up because I've been wanting or been trying to look for the physical and it was 250 so you know I picked it up and then also saw this one on uh, Facebook market sometimes Facebook market you got to be fast when you see things and sometimes you're not fast enough so when I asked the seller if she still had this with she had like a bunch of other books a bunch of other books that she was selling um but I wasn't going to drive the distance just to get one book, even though I have before. But we'll get into that later. Anyway, so this book is what I was interested in. And it's The Honeymooners by Christina Lauren. I have read, have I read Christina Lauren? I have, right? I can't remember what book it was. Christina Lauren wrote Love in Other Words, right? I'm not crazy, right? So... I guess that's the one book I read. I have her love equation. Is it love equation? That one. I have that one on my shelf. And I think I have another Christina Lauren. No, I don't. I don't have that one. So this one. For summer read. I got a lot of summer reads. Uh and it's still cold. So I'm you know, maybe I'm ready to read summer in the wintertime. I don't really know. Oh, another one that Another one that is a historical romance, and it is Mr. Malcolm's List. This was also on my TBR. Again, picked it up. It's a little bit, um, it's like shorter than the rest of the books. Still, 250 is not bad. So, yeah, picked that up. And then the last one in my bag, which I've heard a lot about, and the synopsis of it, like, I think the synopsis of it sounded really interesting, and I wanted to give it a read. I know the Rumi's Digest really love this book, so I picked it up, and it is Razorblade Tears. Could you hear me on that one? I feel like I botched that, but I picked up Razorblade Tears. This is the book of the month version, and it's hardcover, and I think I said hardcover was $3, right? So, so yeah, this was $3. But did I get lucky is all I have to say. Um, yeah, so I don't even know if I can hold all of these. So today at this thrift store that I, I'm definitely going to gatekeep, you will never know. If you live in Houston, I'm never telling you. You'll never know. Well, also, weirdly enough, um, this does not have like, it's not on the maps. So unless you live over here in this area, it's the only way you'll know. But also, I don't remember what the thrift store is. 
because it's not like a whole name it's like letters i don't freaking know anyways yeah i'm gatekeeping you will never find out if you live in houston sorry not sorry i need to get my good deals and you guys can't have it okay sorry not sorry anyway so 21 dollars for all of these books crazy um i would show you my goodwill um i don't have time <laughs> I have to leave. I haven't even had breakfast yet. So I'm I'm leaving. I'm probably just gonna get lunch. Um and then we're heading home. Also, also I don't know why I do this to myself. I got a new bookshelf and I my shelves are full. My shelves are full and I just got more books. I listen, it's hard to be on a book ban when you find good deals okay anyways i'm gonna stop rambling i'm gonna go home eat then i'll talk to you guys afterwards i will show you my facebook market haul tell you all about that hopefully i don't stare at my bookshelf the whole time because of my new haul but anyways hello we're back in the house um i should have filmed it but i totally forgot but i already put up um, all of the books already on my shelves. I did stare at it um, while I was here. As you can see, like legit, my shelves are full to the brim. I could make room up here, but I don't know. I kind of don't want to at the same time. Whatever. I just wanted to keep these in like the genre or order that I have it in because these two I said were my contemporary romances. So yeah, I think I only have that stack this is what I'm reading oh right here this is what I'm reading currently so that's why this is here even though it's not in this section um and I put the Goodwill one right there so yeah everything's up on the shelf currently I think I was going to show you guys my Facebook stuff I think I think there's only two that recently I got from Facebook the other ones you have seen in my book haul from like earlier this month I know legit I've gotten so many books this month it's become a problem I legit think I should go into book buying ban even if they're good deals because first all this money I'm spending even though it's not a lot it still adds up in the end and I just have no room currently so that's why even though I had like a stack of TBR that I wanted to read this month didn't happen at all so I think it's Monday so I have like two days or three two and a half days to finish um this one book that I decided to start this week so I haven't even gotten that far in this book wish me luck because I don't know how the heck I'm gonna do this but yeah anyways enough rambling about how I need to freaking read my physical books so that I can make more room on my shelves but yeah we'll get into there's only two books like I told you um I am gonna reiterate what I got off Facebook market and how much I paid for with the ones that were in the haul video that I got and conveniently I think they're like on the shelf so I have I guess let me move this here okay so the one that I have right here is a lady for Duke uh this is a historical romance a queer historical romance and I bought it for like five dollars I had to make a little bit of a trip but it was five dollars and i've been wanting the physical to be um to finish it so yeah i picked this up five dollars off facebook market the other one i have is november 9 by colleen hoover is it ninth or just november 9 um i don't know if you guys remember last month when i was cat sitting legit the last day that i was there and on my way home i i bought this book the night before and i scheduled with the seller to pick it up in the morning as like a front porch pickup and this also was only five dollars so yeah then these three which is the kingmaker by kennedy ryan uh full tilt and blindside blindsided i got because i was selling some books i was selling some books and the person offered to trade books and I agreed because she had these amazing books so I was like I'm down for a trade so yeah equal trade for these three so free I guess <laughs> like a kind of if you were to go to like a little free library and trade your books that's what I did for this one and then I got Twisted Love off Facebook Market as well and it was five dollars 
then I got Things We Never Got Over by Lucy Score. I know this is like semi-recent release um, and everybody loved this book. It's a little bit, like there's a little bit of a bent here and the spine is creased, but yeah, I think this was the most expensive Facebook market buy that I have. Usually because all of them are $5 and this one I paid $8 for. So it was three books for five dollars and that's because of the condition but i already had the first book in the series so the first book the first book i already have is already on my shelf it's right here it is um it's scythe and this isn't the book that i bought this one i had for a little bit but the first one that came in the set i put out into the little library but i ended up buying the rest of the scythe series so i have Thunderhead and the Toll again not like the best it seemed I think she said she was like a teacher so it was in her um her classroom so it has um this and I think her her teacher name up here so for the whole set or the three books it was five dollars so yeah super excited about that I cannot fit into my shelf so it's kind of gonna I don't know where it's gonna go I don't know if I should make room for the series over here I don't know I'm not entirely sure that's for another time but yeah that's pretty much it for this haul like I said I am officially going on a book buying ban like I'm not going to the thrift store anymore I'm gonna have to stop looking at Facebook market from now on which is gonna be a little bit hard because I'm slightly addicted not gonna lie so yeah that's pretty much it for this video I hope you guys enjoyed it and I will see you guys in whatever next video I do hopefully it's not buying books anymore <sighs> Anyways, I'll see you guys next time.